Ja is. Roberto, let's meet you guys. So, uh, we're supposed to, to bring here many different projects, but at the end we change idea a little bit because we would like to explain you some tricks how we, how we build up the tracks and uh, generally. So, uh, we also explain some tricks that we use for, mi for midfield. Uh, so, uh, this is the little change, but I, I think uh, it's uh, gonna be interesting as well. Uh, maybe more than uh, that we see yeah, the track we done, you know? <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. I will start. Okay, That's <coughs> this one is the basically is our template that we used to have, more or less every time we start to work on a track. Uh, it's a simple one, like uh, we divide everything by groups, like with kick drums, bass group, drum group, synth group and FX group. Then we have on the other side the yeah, returns, like we do f uh, six channels, like this one is simple reverb, then honestly we used to use for like a general reverb rack, you know? And then we use another one, like um, just simple delay to, uh, you know, use just, uh, we use this one to have like a general kind of reverb and delay apart the, the one that we used in the insert, okay? Uh, the other side we have echo, we have an auto pan as well. This one is for distortion, for drums. Uh, this is the new rack from Ableton 10, the drum bass. And then we have a stereo enhancer. This one is more like useful for, you know, to split a little bit the stereo image of the drums, of the synth, uh, all that it goes not in mono, you know everything in the stereo field. Then, okay, um, let's start with the, uh, can I go? So, okay. Uh, yes, okay. This one is the rack we use for the kick drums. Uh, here we have a kick selector. We like to work in this, uh, this kind of way, le like not just loading samples, you know, but we have like a 127 kind of samples of kick drum that we can choose with this, um, with this knob, like going up, going down, changing on the fly, so we don't lose so much time to just loading some, and uh, yeah, basically it's like uh, envelope, uh, transpons for the pitch of the kick drum. Sorry, can we have more volume? Uh, um, yeah, please. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, from better. Better. Okay. Perfect. Let's go turn this off. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So this is the basic kick drum. Okay. We are going to choose a kick drum in the first. Maybe let's try with uh, this one. Yeah. Okay. After this, uh, we have another rack here. We used to use this one uh, for having like reverb, this kind of rumble on the um, on the sub frequencies. I, we did this one like having one dry channel. This channel is like the um, just a dry kick drum, and then you have this one. I put in solo. You have this kind of room uh, feeling, and this is done by the reverb and. Um, reverb and overdrive. Um, from this side you can, for example, I, I use the sides knob to have like a pitch of this kind of rumble. If you move, you can hear that you are going to change the, the frequencies on the sub. So, trying to fix it by ear. Tips. What kind of um, okay. And then with DK, you have like more longer rumble on the downside. This is good to have like a really kind of techno kind yeah, of sound, you know. Then we go is that a sign? Okay, this one is like a sub bus maker, we call it it, but it's like uh, just a sine wave. Then on this side we like to to build like uh, changing the pitch to give like this kind of Okay. 
give this kind of sub on downside, you know. Yes. Possiamo fare di un altro comunque in bar si guarda il pezzo, magari facciamo varie cose. Ci diamo uno, ci diamo più distorsione, facciamo le parti alte. Allungare. Come passa già questa? No, del kick. Magari non capire qualcosa. Le varie parti del kick. Passa un attimo a quest'altro No, 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 fai fai. No, no, vai di qua, aspetta. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's just we are just yeah. <laughs> 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 so, no, no, no. Yeah, but just told to him that uh, we used, yeah, we, we used to have this kind of kick and this, uh, this kind of process, uh, process. But um, we also no, um, normally we n- not normally, but uh, often we also have some kinds. Yeah, we're gonna copy hits, and if we have another kick with just different uh, frequency, like uh, okay, we have only the uh, the bass frequency on it like this for example <coughs> for example we like this this sub frequency so we have sorry wait hey okay So we have another kick here, which is now the same because we have the sub frequency. And I don't know what you guys do that. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna open it again. It just shows. Really we, yeah, okay. we leave okay. we'll all the sub frequency and we're gonna distort it a little bit more. Oh, other side of this. No, we left like wet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. In this case, you, you can have more distortion on the kick. We also use. Now we don't have it, but we used to have a side chain, uh, like from the first one to the second one. So it's it's not going to be like to, yeah, yeah, to cancel, like the to cancel uh, some frequency. So this we will do this when we wanna have more distortion and kick. Like so, you can feel the difference like this. You know, normal kick without like this. And all together, give this rest. And then you have more distortion if you want, or less distortion. So this is another trick that we do. That's what we were speaking about. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna explain this. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. And then yeah, yeah. We, can we wanna pass on the drum parts, maybe. Yeah, yeah, of course. So enough the same time. So, for the drums, used to have the same kind of setup, like for toms, percussion, claps, hi hats. So we have this is this is the MIDI. Uh, this is the MIDI where we're gonna write everything. And for example, now we already prepared some little grooves, but we can change like this. We have this percussion now. And also we have the same selector from the kick, we use it from a kick. And equalizer, the reverb. We have a simple delay that we can uh, use like this, for example. I like to use re- a lot of delays when I do, uh, especially on the um, drums, for example. Like I like to record it, for example, when I'm gonna arrange it, then we're gonna see that when we're gonna arrange the track, I really love to have to 
to have not too much things in a, in a tracks, like just a simple percussion, simple uh, hi-hat, simple uh, drums. And then I, w I, 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 um, I like to be creative on what I have in the simple things, you know, like just this is a simple thing, but I, I start, music, yeah. you know, I start to have delay, reverb, distortion, that's, that's, then I'm going to create my own things, you know, like, so we have this percussion, then we have a clap, so for example, for the clap, we use, I use <coughs> this kind of echo, that's, I really love. What I want to show you now, I'm gonna record what I I do in uh, with the sense, no? With the um, sorry if I speak like this, but I'm very excited <laughs> tonight because it's the first time that I do that. Really? So uh, <laughs> I, I'm I'm we, nervous, yeah, really. I never I never <laughs> been in, the, in, the, in this side. The so thing is to say in the yeah, studio, but in, <laughs> in the studio, you know, <laughs> you are like yeah, fast. But when everybody, you know, co uh, look at you. look at you, <laughs> so I feel very excited. So <laughs> sorry guys, <laughs> sorry guys, yeah, for this. That's why I'm yeah nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I wanna record this clap for sample <coughs> like this. So I'm gonna make the audio. I'm gonna make. Ah, sorry. Oops. Okay. Audio channel from the drum screw clap. from the clap. It in, in, yeah. and and now I start to record everything. So I would like this modulation. The reason why I record this in audio because in audio you could work in different than MIDI. So you have a reverse, you, you can use other kind of uh, FX on it, you know, on that channel. Uh, so I prefer to record everything during the... Uh, that usually I do this when I start to arrange with all the tracks like this. I would like to add some distortion on this kick, this clap, and I'm going to equalize it as well. Every drums I use, I like to have uh, like ambient reverb on it, so it's it look like more uh, like iron stuff, you know, like like it's very heavy. So I like this kind of sounds. Anyway, so that's why I'm gonna uh, equalize it on only in the middle high frequency. I put some resonance on it, you know, so can be more like yeah. So it changed a lot, you know, like this is. Bah. Classic club? Yeah. And my club. So <laughs> you change it, no? Anyway, we are recording now. All. Uh, uh, I, think it was ah, I didn't record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now That's we are ready. Okay. Perfect.
lately. So we already recorded this one. So we have here a club with the different kinds of uh, modulation. So you can use in uh, during the the track. So for example, when you're arranging after one minute, you can use this kind of club. Let's see what let's see what we like. So now that you started, this was a mandala. Now it's a mandala. <laughs> no, I don't know if I'm going to go to the other one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. No, it's a one. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Because we have to register the mandala. Yes. Oh, yes. It was. Okay. Oh. Input. Ah, yeah, I did input. Yeah. Sense only. Yes. Perfect. No, it's pretty tough. Like it. Drum group, yes. Come on, Yes. Echo. Echo, yes. Echo. Again. Here goes again. No more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm, he's gonna play it. No, no. Okay, Perfect. now it's working out. we have what we recorded and we can work on it like uh, uh, for example I would like to have this one I, this is my style of do it. So very simple. And I change color. I have another. Clap here. So this other like maybe I put here, put here and if we have, oops, we have this one. And this one. So let's start to work on it like this. Okay. So I made this just to have some change in, in uh, during the track, so little tricks, so you can have a reverse on it, you can use everything what we record, you can use uh, then in the track, because it's for me it's uh, important to do, don't use a lot of simple things, a lot of these, these, I'm gonna like, like that, that, not simples, create your simples, create what you do. Be creative on what you do. So, in just in the simple things. So, I, ju uh, I just show up this one with the club, but you can do with thumbs, with hi hats, with everything, and then you can make more groove in the tracks. So, after that, you can uh, work. Yeah, for everybody, for everything, hi hats. So, what? Yeah. <laughs> for example, yeah, you put the reverse, and you can do a lot of things about yeah. with the audio. Is like more. Uh, you are more creative on the audio because you can yeah. Uh, yeah, cut everything. Or it's a good way to work in this side. But this is important that you do when you start to arrange a track, everything together. You start to record like, I don't know, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, like just modulation with hi hats and uh, claps, thumbs, everything. And then you bring everything what you have to to arrange a track to have a lot of idea uh, a more idea in what you do so, so yeah uh, just on synth side yeah we'll just show 
a very simple like 303 sequence with uh, we use this time diva or the diva plugin good plugin very simple uh GUE like uh yeah we just have like a, a sequence here yeah but we can do another one maybe the fly Start maybe on the road K of C. I would like to create like a slide kind of 303 style going slowly, get in glide. Okay. Um, I'm just showing you the parameter that I'm moving like okay using the glide you can set up like the slides you know like this kind of changing pitch like quick changing but you have to uh, how can I say uh, put one on the other uh, look this note is like going on the other one so this can be the slide effect with this kind of then I'm a just so bad now yes so we start with chat Still have I had sugars roots like this. Uh, <coughs> this one, I use uh, to have more groove with shakers, with everything, still with the delay. So I use uh, uh, the de delay time, so it changed like from straight to more like groovy. Sometimes I use also to be more a little bit of, of, uh, of yeah, uh, <coughs> because then it make more like real. So not really like straight on everything. Everything is. Uh, I think the the your ear and uh, your uh, brain receive um, receive better natural things like you do in the real life, you know, like with your hands, and that that's come better. So it's a little thing, 
but it's very important to have this trick also when you put the clap for example sometimes you put the clap on real on the kick sometimes you put a little bit just li 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 later or before it gives like sometimes more human yeah. feeling not just robotic things sometimes you know. it's yeah not sometimes it, it yeah it gives you this kind of feeling no? so that's uh, for to do this i use often delays and uh, uh on the that we have here you know already with this as well for th for the hi-hat yeah Yeah, look how it changed a little bit, you know, just you have more groove inside, you know, like... And then you can use, when you have the break, for example, you can use something like this. You can have a little change, like just with that, for example. It's quite simple things, but you know, it's sometimes we don't just to get so really hard things to do. But the small things that just, you know, puts your brain in another set, not just stuck it in the loop, you know, just the small things really. It changed the feeling of the track. on the rack so it's easier also if you have a controller like the push or something else you have everything up, um, connected to the rack really quickly so now we don't have here but you will also have with the push as well like you can go with decay attack transpose very quickly that's why you use this kind of rack the, um, I think it's interesting to have like more than the drum the normal drum rack because here you can select on the fly so if you don't like this right one second tank change it, you change the decay attack in a very quick way. So in the meantime you already have some recording and then when you are arranging it that's why now put this one so it's now we just seeing you basic things but you can do whatever you want. I help you to be more creative you know that's kind of in my opinion that's kind of that's I, I used to have this kind of arrangement and I used to have to do these kind of things just to be more creative during the track. To have more option to not go to select, wow, what I have to put now, what I have to make it. Maybe ne need this one, need one, need another thing. Another. It's better to be, to, to stay simple and then work yeah. on what you have, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the, lead, in the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in the in the um, in the channels you have, you have less channel you have, and then uh, I, in my opinion, it's the best. It's the best, best yeah, to work on it in the best way. Maybe you know uh, how my track sounds. You know, it, it helps you also it to sounds better. You know, like when you have exactly. less things and you push it, the track have more aid inside, yeah, you know, more it's dynamics. more like, it's like moving, less sound. you know, you, sh yeah. you have more, you know, waves on it, you yeah. know, that's, that's, that's uh, also really important uh, to have a good quality music, you know, like, so if you put a lot of things like it's this, 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 it's okay, you, it, it can sound good, but yes, it's Sometimes still like messy, you know? a lot of yeah, a lot of mix. But so it depends. What the, there is somebody that like this because it sounds in his way. But yeah, in uh, in our opinion, it's like this. So 
So oh, le- yeah. less sound, the better quality. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's the, the same point we did for midfield, for example. Yeah, exactly. No, we start f- in this way with the simple drums. He adds uh, like king and bass, like he do with bass with the LFO, and then he say, "Oh, Roberto, what it's is nice, this? Yeah. What we gonna <laughs> do with this? You know? <laughs> you know?" And then yeah, we start yeah. midfield. Like you know, that. like okay, <laughs> let's go to studio. We do it, and ah. also we speak about the melody midfield, guys. It's like three notes, really in a small range, like. G, A, A, uh, is then back to A. So all this n- lesson is just about keep simple things. That's it, guys. And you will have like big results. Don't be too much like going hard things. It's just a waste of time, you know. It will be okay, but I'm honest, in these years I just understood that if you keep it simple, it will be the best result, I think. Yeah. That's what uh, That's our what message. With, yeah, we did with, <laughs> mid, with midfield. Yeah, the only thing we did we with midfield, we, we are only recognize that the track was like, just with that synth, all the track, like seven minute tracks, just pum, 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 you know, like after long, so yeah, we need to do something in the middle. <coughs> That's why midfield. That's <laughs> midfield. <laughs> 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 That's why, and because we, uh, yeah, we we stop the, you know, the, um, the 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 melody. The melody, yeah. We stop the melody in the middle with something like, look like different, but uh, it's the same uh, the same waves. Same sound. Yeah, the same thing. sound of the melody, like that one. And then we did like, okay, we do all the feel, we do like break, and we. We smash it down and then let's start again with happy with sound like a pun. Uh, you know, that became map. And then you can recognize some of the people uh, that we didn't expect that. We just <laughs> told that. that. Like so yeah. when <laughs> we was, I was playing that one first time. So I was the people like, the effort was really what we, we wanted to exactly. share, you know, we wanted to do. And then, uh, yeah, we are really happy about, but yeah, you have to think simple. simple. <laughs> just think simple, guys. I think this. Okay, like this. Yeah, you have some okay. question have about some something guys, because free. we are uh, very bad in English and uh, we are not <laughs> <laughs> very good teachers. <laughs> but yeah, we try to explain something. <laughs> if you have some in question you way, don't understand, yeah. <laughs> I speak in Italian uh, and then, uh, and then we'll we, we, we call some translator. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, if you don't have any question, okay, d- ah, okay. we have one. It's Yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course. So I how do you shape uh, kick and bass together? Yeah, that kind of sound. Uh, basically, it's like. That's the kick drum, the kick drum maker. <laughs> Finish. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we um, we um, in this way with the kick selector, I did like to choose like 127 kick drums that, for my taste, can be fitted for techno. You know, because basically, if you hear it in solo, it doesn't sound like in the final end, like with the kick and uh, this reverb. I'll show you. Uh, it's just uh, the end of selection of kick drums. I, this kind of thing you can learn. Hearing tracks, mate. Really l- hearing this, this. So you can go from. Um, how can I explain you? It's like you uh, have uh, a basic kick drum, okay? Like this. Wait, I want to show you. Okay. Starts. Okay. But this is the clean one. If you hear it, it's like okay normal simple one but you have to think about what you have to do after this no so if i put this kind of rack i know that it's going to be the rumble on the downside and you have to do like also you you know about frequency range okay kick drum goes from a kind of range a bass lines another one it's good to don't keep it in the same in the same bass ra- in the same sorry frequency range like cutting uh, the sub bass for example, if the note is like C2, I don't remember really good how much is the frequency, maybe it's like 60 hertz, so you cut everything down 60 and you go up. The kick drum must have to be like uh, maybe some gain on 60 because it's the main frequency of the track, it's the main root notes. And that's what basically we do. You know, like is another thing is always well good to know in uh, which kind of key you are. Also if with the sub bass, you know, because you can do also this, look. Okay. 
Ableton. Uh, Ableton helps you on this. Look, in the uh, uh, left corner here, you can see, look the pointer. This is the highest level on the bass. You can read on this side C1. C1 is the root key of the kick drum. So from this, I'm gonna build the, uh, the, um, the bass, you know. So I start with the C note. And from that, you know, I will beat. I wanna be C minor. I'm gonna be a scale of C minor about the bass drum or C drum. And it's that's why you can hear it um, not clean. I mean, like everything is the. Um, I don't know the term in English, sorry about this. <laughs> but yeah, you can hear it good in the big because everything is in the right frequencies, right notes, right frequencies. Keep in mind to be always in key in everything. You can experiment, but. Honestly, I prefer to work in keys. You know, if for me C, everything must be in C. C minor, D minor, F minor, or whatever. But your kick is in C1? Yeah. Should be in C1? You C1? Or you no, it depends. This it depends. You don't have always to start, sorry. Uh, if you don't have to always start from C, but the main scale is C, C minor. In techno, it's minor, more or less, every time. If not, it's happy music, <laughs> no, we're going in May or it's changing everything. <laughs> Basically, it's this, you know, it's just to keep the, the frequencies clean for the sub bass and the quick drum. Just to pay attention on the equalization and the root keys. That's it. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah why? Uh, no, no. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> how, how do you approach your creative process? Like Gravel creative process. Yeah. Mm. Like, where do you draw inspiration? You, from? you can. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. No, no, there is nothing. So, yeah, I've, um, you know, like, um, it's very technical. Uh, you know, like, uh, when we go to studio, it's like very technical. I'm more like, I never did a course, I never did anything. Uh, but so I just, w everything I know, I know by myself. I just. So. Uh, like but. Uh, I think what I do, it's <laughs> it's good, <laughs> so I'm happy about. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, the idea, inspiration, you mean? Uh, but basically, we go in the studio, like, okay, we start, uh, we it's always starting from a kick drum at the end. Yeah, this is hard that we yeah. go with a always. melody in the mic. Maybe, Sometimes okay, we depends, can have, like, yeah. an idea, but basically, it's, like, starting always from kick and drum. Uh, from the kick drum and bass, sorry. But, yeah, it's on the fly, you know, you can say, okay, I start maybe to play um, three, four notes, okay, would you like this, okay, he's playing like experiment. experiment. Yeah, That's also, it. also not yeah, a you rule, have you know. yeah, yeah, but uh, always, like, you, you, you go, for example, as we, I told you before, no, uh, when I heard these quick drums with the bass, I say, yeah, what we can do with this, so let's go to studio, because, you know, you have something in mind, so you feel it, and then you say, yeah, maybe we can do this, 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 so then when you go to studio, of course, it's beating up, yeah, you have an idea, it's not let you're gonna change it, you're gonna be, you're gonna stay in that idea, but something, you know, maybe some little things you can change, like by the way, of course. Exactly. And so, uh, I think, I think yeah, always, uh, always uh, I start, mm, when I do something, I start from a point, you know, like maybe I stay in the, uh, I, I never used to, uh, to to do music uh, during traveling, so that's why I'm very slow in the studio, and now I'm not doing a lot of music. I need to stay in studio because I'm like this. So if I start something in the laptop, I feel like this, and then I don't <laughs> feel comfortable. I have to feel like this when I go to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lazy uh, guy, guys. So I mean, you know what? <laughs> no, but uh, it's, uh, it make me more uh, comfortable, of course, comfortable than um, it make it uh, it make me more ideas. You know, like more like this. So uh, that's another point. But <laughs> anyway, when now I started a little bit. When I travel, because I'm traveling a lot now, and then the only thing is that you must to do something during the travel. So what I do mostly now, it's not kick and bass, because I always start from kick and bass. But every time I, I do something with air, where with the headphone, I have to change in the studio, and that's just boring me. Like, what the mm -hmm. fuck, I did this, and then uh, you hear something like, you are excited, you go to the studio. Oh, oh man, this is not the same. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's destroying me. So then, uh, you know, I, I just do, <coughs> I am very <coughs> sensible guy, you know, like, I, I <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, because then it's changed everything now, I have to start again, so I was thinking it was different, then I don't do nothing, you know? Every time, that's why I say, oh, 
<coughs> I don't do anything uh, during traveling. I just go to studio and I start to work time on, you know, and I hear what I really hear. Um, anyway, now I, d d I have different points. I just start from, uh, I have uh, a, s a science idea, so melodies idea. Perfect. I do melody because I that's frequency, so you can hear better. It's not like kick and bass that you really need to be clear, like exactly. he explained him before, you know, like. Uh, so if you have just to build a scene, yeah, you, can that you don't need really need. Uh, I built up, you know, from kick and bass, you know, from that uh, scale and um, notes. That's. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, finished. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Ciao, grazie. Yeah.